Operation of the breakaway system should be checked every time you hook up to your trailer. To do this, disconnect the electrical plug. Check the breakaway battery to make sure that it's fully charged. Pull the breakaway switch pin. Sending the batteries 12 volts to the trailer brake magnets, which should apply the brakes fully. So when you attempt to pull forward, the trailer should remain stationary. In this example, the breakaway system on our trailer wasn't working. Knowing that the battery is charged, the next place to check is the breakaway switch itself, which is simply a hollow box with a pair of metal contacts, normally held apart by the plastic pin, which holds the brakes in the non-applied position. Although this box is relatively well sealed, moisture can get in and cause corrosion on the contacts. I took an old needle file from the Scale Model Tools collection, which is about a quarter of an inch wide and a sixteenth of an inch thick, and ground a tapered end on it, so it could slide easily between the switch contacts. This made it easy to file the mating surfaces of the switch clean and send 12 volts to the trailer brakes. Now, when attempting to pull forward, resistance from the trailer brakes can be felt. Last step is to reinstall the pin, which will release the trailer brakes. Another small spring tune-up operation complete. With the breakaway system operational, the trailer brakes could stand with some adjustment, and that will be treated as a separate project.